So a very thief with Kuma is once again at our host hotel, the Hilton Club. We're enjoying the hospitality at uh, the lab and then of course Grail's Kitchen. Uh, my guest today on the show is the founder and CEO of Good Life X, member of the Board of Global Entrepreneurship Networks, Sri Lanka Chapter and Tres Expert City. She's also former CEO and Director of Partnerships and Growth of Hatchworks the, and now a board member of the largest accelerator and entrepreneurial hub of South Asia. Is, uh, Randulari Silva, is that all? Uh, well, yes, in terms of designations, I suppose. There was a longer version <laughs> which, which we slashed. Uh, my goodness, after having said all that, how on earth do you want me to in introduce you? I think it's 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 really tough to define me by designations. That's not something I enjoy anyway. Um, I do a lot of things. I love doing a lot of things. I think you can just simply say I'm I'm a girl with a flair for adventure. <laughs> okay. Now talking about good life. What does good life mean? The birth of good life, and what is the X in good life X? Yeah. So I think the the concept of good life or the word good life itself, it's a philosophical question. I think a lot of people are trying to solve, um, but it is really being able to live a happy and free life where you're healthy and you can really achieve your best self and be able to contribute um, to, to the society, to the people, to whatever cause you're in. But in order to live a good life, there's basic things that you have to have. Um, opportunity to um, uh, access good food, live a healthy and free life, um, freedom of choice, all of these things. So in Good Life X, what we try to do is we try to um, build a stimulus-led growth in Asia to support entrepreneurs who are creating solutions around the areas of, you know, disrupting natural value chains in food, agriculture, wellness, travel, tourism, um, to really, you know, bridge a gap between the emerging booming tech sector um, and the traditional sectors of Asia. We have so much of goodness in our food, um, in the inherent knowledge that we have of how to use these um, traits to make our life better. How do we merge this um, and, and create a better life for all of us here in Asia is what we try to do in Good Life X. So the how X does your organization, Good Life X, of which you're CEO, actually physically get to work and work with the uh, entrepreneurs out there. So um, we've been um, we've been working since 2018. This idea came about where we when we saw this disconnect between the emerging tech booming entrepreneurs and the traditional sectors, and we really wanted to bridge this gap um, where we connect conscious entrepreneurs to conscious consumers of the world. How we make it work is by um, different programs and initiatives. Um, so you can really call us a catalyst, even. Um, we've had that's a nice yes, that, that would be all, the catalyst. The catalyst, yes, for good life. Um, I think that's what I am also. Uh, we, we have different programs like accelerator programs for startups. Last year, amid the COVID pandemic, we launched something called the Garage for SMEs. So by different modalities, we work with entrepreneurs um, to cater to their different needs in order to really innovate within these sectors and um, help the Sri Lankan economy and the Asian economy um, grow and embrace sustainable growth. Share with us a real life example of something Good Life X has done. Sure, I, I think for our short span of life of uh, two and a half years, um, we've had a pilot cohort of startups um, through our first accelerator program, which we kicked off in 2019, um, where brands like Sozo, Honest Greens, Kimula Kithul, Asana, um, Ananta Sustainables was part of our program. It's a three-month rapid immersive business development program. And last year, we um, uh, had a program, the same program for 10 startups, um, where uh, brands like Good Folks, um, Ovita Organic, Sebasco, um, uh, and um, a few more brands, so 10 companies all together, who went through this program amidst the COVID pandemic. And the Garage program, like I said, which is a bespoke tailor-made um, business development program for SMEs, so mature entrepreneurs who are already out there in the world or are ready to go to the world with their solutions, get access to um, market intelligence. Uh, we open doors for them to enter into new markets and give them knowledge to do things, you know, uh, in a fresh way um, to, to become, you know, um, uh, a better band out, brand out there in the world. Um, if you take a look at um, our export portfolio, 
in the traditional sectors. It's tea that has done such a good job in, you know, shouting out about Ceylon, the name of Ceylon, Ceylon yes. or the name of Sri Lanka. But there's so much more that we can offer. Look at our coconut. Um, and that's something that we are uh, working on with Good Life X Garage program right now. So there's a lot of interesting ventures like that. Very briefly tell me, since we have time constraints, unfortunately, uh, I'm a SME out there or an entrepreneur. Uh, I need help. How do I get to you all? Um, call us, write to us. Uh, but also we have um, intakes um, which are um, time bound for these programs. So we make a call out usually um, in March every year where we open doors for anybody to apply, uh, be it a SME or be it a startup, because we now cater to um, two segments. So you apply, we scan your application, we meet you for an interview. And a few things we really look at is, okay, what problem are you trying to solve out there? Um, is it, you know, another app that's going to deliver fried chicken to my house at 12 midnight? Maybe not the best fit. Uh, but are you, are you solving a sustainable issue out there? Are you trying to make life better? Uh, and if so, let's get talking. Moving on, you're the, you were the CEO and the Director of Partnerships and Growth of Hatchworks, the largest accelerator and entrepreneurial hub in South Asia. Now, how does, in comparison, how does Hatch function? Um, Hatch is uh, an amazing facility, an amazing place, and I really count myself um, as blessed to have um, been with Hatch at the very beginning of their journey to, you know, uh, CEO. yeah, Best to be CEO. leading that yeah, ship. Yeah. And it was the first time for me uh, in a role like that. And Hatch was the first in Sri Lanka. Um, so it's like a lot of new learnings in a, in a lot of uh, drastic ways. And it was quite a lot of fun. Um, Hatch, I think everybody knows it as, as a space, including you. <laughs> Uh, Let's start going, yeah. As a beautiful space, though. <laughs> yes. Um, nice. But a space that caters to everything innovative. But we do a lot more than just um, what what a co-working space does. Um, uh, there's a lot of interesting programs that we have uh, for female entrepreneurs. We also concluded program for fintech um, startups, and we do a lot of things around corporate innovation. We have a maker studio in-house, which is quite groovy and funky, where you really get to use CNC machines to 3D printers to really build things up. Um, so Hatch is still pretty much a part of me and I'm, I'm still on the board. Um, and Why do you move down? No, not down, move out of CEO and director into, into uh, what you are now, a board member. Well, uh, I think wh wh how I work in life, in anything I do, I embrace something that needs nurturing and building. I build it, I build a system to sustain it, and I go to the next adventure. Um, but in my two years, I played a dual role uh, as CEO of Hatch, but also chief disruptor of GIZ. Very contrasting companies, Hatch is a startup for startups. Um, GIZ is a, a conventional development agency, and it's like really, um, embracing deep collaborations to achieve a common goal, which is building startups of Sri Lanka. And that was a massively beautiful learning experience to really be disrupting systems of both these organizations and, you know, create mergers where you could collaborate and grow together. Uh, so that was fun. This word disruptor, disrupting is a trending word nowadays. It's a hashtag. It's also very the in thing to be. Uh, how effective is it really? Well, I think it's how uh, it's how it's done, and I think it's a pop. Done. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it can be uh, a destructive. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> destruction. Uh, but I think yes, it, it, right. it 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 came up to be popular, a buzzword, so to speak, because of the technology um, or, the, or the tech companies that use it um, in their in their way of code or in their way of building, where you disrupt something to build um, build build up on it or build it better. So it applies to um, the way people work or anything um, that that can change for better. That's how I apply it. That's how I see myself applying it. Um, and my husband calls himself after getting influenced by me, uh, uh, a social disruptor. Um, so I, I think it's all about uh, taking something old that needs reinvention. You disrupt what it is and build it to be back to be better. Um, and I think the new word for this is also shapeshifter. So you 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 take the form of what it is and you make it uh, to be something much larger and better. 
are you the first or were you the first to introduce the hatch concept to Sri Lanka? Well, I'm it's not the new. founder of it. Um, we have three this amazing... This concept of co-working space and, you know... Co-working spaces has uh, been um, out and about um, in Sri Lanka, but Hatch obviously is the largest and, and the most 360 degree solution and approach that came about in Sri Lanka in its um, current form and phase. And the, you know, the ideators and the founders of it are Jeevan, Nathan and Brinda, amazing people to work with. Um, so um, it was fascinating to uh, find people who resonated with my vision. So I just uh, joined hand and made it happen. So looking back, is there anything that you could have done better with Good Life X and Hatchworks? Or, or, or are you happy with its journey, the way it's going on now? I'm definitely happy with the journey. Um, there's a lot more to do. We are just beginning. Also, Good Life X um, just emerged into being its own entity. So, from a development sector initiated program within GIZ, it has now taken wings to be on its own as its own entity. So, of course, I'm proud of the journey. But of course, there's a lot of things we could have done differently um, that I would have done differently. For instance, telling our story uh, 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 a lot earlier than waiting for two years. Um, I think that's what happens when you're deep diving into doing the work. Um, I, I just focus on it and don't talk too much about it. Um, so which you should have been doing. Which I should have been doing, which I'm doing now. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I think I also work with a lot of young people. Um, I, I get energy by doing things differently. Um, and I empower people to just shine. So I think with that, um, there's a few learnings also. Not everybody's ready to embrace uh, the shine and to be empowered. Um, so, yeah. You work with young people. Yes. Um, the others, how, how, how slow are people uh, to embrace change? I think it really depends on the sector you are in, the personality that you have. and. COVID more than anything taught us this. Uh, if you look at startups to SMEs, um, the people who sustain, I'm not saying you anybody can thrive in an environment like this. It's, it's difficult, it's tough for all of us. Uh, but the moment you stop looking at the problem as a problem and try to shift gears and shift perspectives to see how do I create opportunity out of this uncertainty, how do I make sure that the people I have in my company um, have a place to go to and extend my runaway, even in the short time, by doing something differently or focusing on something different? I see those people a lot more resilient um, to face the future than the others. So if you take a look at companies like Pick Me, uh, even Yoho, um, they embrace this uncertainty very well um, by shifting gears, um, so it's, it's, big it's, smart, it's, it's yeah. how it's you react smart. and how agile you are in, in the way you react. Thank you, Randula, for talking to us and enlightening us on these nice concepts. The end of chat one at the lab at the Hilton Colombo. We pause for uh, my espresso and her cappuccino. And we meet you again, chat to more about this amazing woman and the amazing work she does. Catch you soon.